if someone does their genetic testing and they have a copy of ApoE4 or two copies, does that affect which of these risk factors you are sort of maybe going more aggressive on or spending more time on? Or is the prevention kind of plan going to be pretty similar to someone without a copy of ApoE4 or two copies? I I believe in precision medicine. It, it really does change the way that we treat you. Of course, most directly how APOE4 relates to these modifiable risk factors is the elevated LDLC risk factor that we're talking about. Even when we think about treating LDLC in someone who has an APOE4, well, that really changes. So for example, APOE4s tend to be hyperabsorbers of cholesterol. They absorb more cholesterol from their intestines. Turns out that we actually have a great medication that can block cholesterol absorption in the gut called azetamide. That also has the benefit of not crossing the blood-brain barrier and not doing anything to screw up brain cholesterol synthesis. As we've been honing in on, the brain must synthesize all its own cholesterol. It can't take up cholesterol from the periphery. So while there haven't been any studies that have said that statin therapy is harmful, and I, I don't think that it's harmful at all, I do think we need to individualize or think about how we're treating LDLC in relation to someone's risk factors, in relation to other biomarkers, and specifically in relation to ApoE4, because we understand that their brain cholesterol synthesis or homeostasis is not normal. 